how loud does this lens get? What is good YouTube, it's That One Camera Guy, back at again with another video. In this episode, we take a look and find out how loud the Sigma 18-35 is in continuous autofocus when using the MC11 adapter and a Sony camera. Let's jump into it. Now this question came up when I posted the video, the Sigma 18-35 and the Alpha 6500 combination as the best YouTube camera there was. And I started getting questions about how loud the continuous autofocus would be in video. I know with these newer cameras, with Canon's dual pixel autofocus technology and even Sony's autofocus technology, it's getting a lot better for continuous autofocus in video to the point where I can actually track the subject, if not good or even better than a regular focus puller. I know for me personally, I will still use manual focusing if I'm in a situation where I need absolute control. But in many cases, for example, when I do my sports recording, I typically just use continuous autofocus because it'd be a lot easier for me and less worry about me keeping focus on the subject. And also because I know the system autofocuses pretty well. However, I am finding that there is a group of folks out there who don't want a manual focus at all, and that's okay. If the technology is there, why not use it? You know what I mean? So as far as the test, I went ahead and tried out the Sigma 18-35, the Sigma 50-100, and the Sigma 35 f1.4. These are the only Sigma lenses that I have that will adapt well to the MC11 adapter with the exception of the 120-300 which I didn't want to mount on the camera and test. So to do my test, I grabbed myself a sound meter that I picked up, which I think will be featured in an unboxing video. And I just did my best. That's the first time I'm using that meter just to give me a gauge of how loud something is. And so what I did was I had it kind of go back and forth. I had the lens and camera go back and forth, focusing between two subjects. Went a little further, went a little closer. So in terms of noise, here's what I got. The Sigma 18 to 35, ranged between 45 to 48 decibels. The Sigma 35 ranged between 47 and 50 decibels, and the Sigma 50 to 100 ranged between 45 to 47. When using a native lens like the Sony 35 f1.8, or even the 50 f1.8 FE, it ranged from like 38 to 40 decibels, which is five decibels less than the Sigma counterparts. Now for reference, if I'm playing a video on my phone at full blast, it comes out to about 80 decibels based on how it's checking audio levels. But here's the thing, when the room is completely quiet and you can probably hear some of like the uh, fans on the light panels, it comes out to about 35, 36 decibels in a quiet room, like the, the studio that I'm filming in right now. Let me show you what I did next. I had the 18 to 35 on the Sony Alpha 6300 or 6500 and I put the Rode VideoMic Pro on there. I set it to plus 20 decibels, and I set the gain on the camera to a value of one. And what I did was the same thing. I had to go from one object to another, one object to another, and I'm just gonna let you listen to what I heard. Is the microphone picking up that slight rumbling sound coming from the lens as it's focusing back and forth? Again, this is the Sigma 18-35, I have stabilization activated. Um, my tracking sensitivity, I believe, is set to res uh, responsive and normal speed here right now. Now, you can definitely hear the autofocusing and it's very audible. And even in the test, I was trying to speak over the sound and I speak at about 80 decibels based on the readings I was getting, and you could still hear the little autofocusing motor on there. So here's my conclusion. One, I don't recommend an adapted lens for continuous autofocusing if the microphone is on top of the camera. Number two, if you are using a wireless system or moving the microphone away from the subject, maybe it's above them and you have a cable routing to the camera, like I do in my videos, I use a wireless lab, then the continuous autofocus is not bad at all. I've done it before. I've actually used a Sigma lens to focus on me. And number three, I would recommend not using continuous autofocus in an event-like scenarios and recommend users to just use manual focusing. If you're in an environment basically and you can't acquire good quality sound, then it's really important that you just manually focus on the lens. Like if, if you're shooting a wedding and you don't have access to the DJ's uh, uh, audio audio, and you only have your camera to record, then just use manual focusing. And if it's something you're not good at, definitely try getting some practice using manual focus. Well folks, that's all I have for you in this video. 
My question for you is, do you use manual focus? Do you still use it? Are you using continuous autofocus on your Sony camera or even using it on your Canon camera? Let me know in the comment section below so I can continue the conversation there with you. And again, I'd always love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget, I'm on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram where you can catch up and find out what's going on behind the scenes with my channel. And don't forget, I would really appreciate it if you can give this video a like and share with someone that might find it helpful. And if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing. And with that said, I'm your host, Edwin Camera Guy, and I'll see you on the next video. And one more request, if you got to this end of the video, what was your favorite Jurassic Park movie? I gotta say, the original one, the very first one, was the one I enjoyed the most, except for that annoying kid. Let me know what you think. Bye.